Hey guys, how are you doing this morning? I'm here in the studio and I'm going to be working on some projects and I'm going to do a quick tutorial on washi tape. Yeah, I have a, um, I, there's been a few of these on YouTube, I noticed, um, using the score tape. So I'm going to show you the process. It's really quick to make your own washi tape. I use it a lot in my artwork as a collage artist and as a book artist. I really like washi tape and I like it more than I'm able to make my own because I can use my own papers and um, really control what the process looks like. Although I still do a lot that I you know, I find around and buy in the stores, but there, it makes a better mix I feel. Because I don't really like my work to look generic. I really am pretty particular about the symbols and the type of materials that I use. And because I am a mixed media collage artist encaustic painter I really collect a lot of ephemera I collect a lot of um, you know fun pieces and to be able to take those pieces and really use it back in my work is more significant to me as an artist you will find products that resonate with your style and that's fine also but it's hard to rely on that I find so let me show you how we're going to make this it's going to be very quick so I'm going to um, bring the camera down to my work station so you can see what we're going to be doing here. Okay, so um, let me see. This is probably good right here. I'm going to use this for, I'm actually going to make an accordion book. I'm going to do a tutorial on that, but that will come next. And I'm actually going to use the score tape in that one, so I'll upload that one at another point. So I'm going to use these dictionary pages. I use a lot of old book pages and what have you. And also I'm going to use some of this paper here. It's a Xerox of an original that I did. And a lot of this is just my own language. I like this, I like this movement on the page of symbol that doesn't mean anything but sort of looks like language. I use a lot of this in my work. So I did some Xeroxes of it. So I'm going to show you how you can actually take your artwork, Xerox it, make washi tape out of it or actually use the original paper that you've done your work on and also use in book pages. Okay, so let's get started. So what we need is we need score tape. And score tape, I find this, it's score tape, S-C-O-R-T-A-P-E. And I just get it on Amazon. If you go on Amazon and put score tape in, it'll come up. I have, this is an inch, I have a half inch, quarter inch. That's about as small as I go. You could, it even comes much larger, which is fine too. I haven't used that at this point, but I could see uses for it, so it's nothing wrong with that. This roll runs about 10, between 10 and 14 dollars, depending on who's selling it. It's very easy to find. And um, I'm showing this because I have a tendency to use these washi tapes a lot. This is the Tim Holtz washi tapes, and this one I love because it has like old lettering and stuff on it and I love lettering but it's kind of hard now let me see you can see this it's kind of hard now to find this one because he sort of makes them and then he just continues them so I like this one a lot and then this one is machinery sort of reminds you like gears and what have you sort of like Leonardo da Vinci type of drawings and gears and stuff and that that's neat too I like the color of this tape so I find I do, like I said, this is examples of tapes I will use because they're just basic um, tapes that I like. And then you also will find, you know, things like this, just polka dots, right? I mean, how generic is that? So that blends in really well with your work. And then I just recently found these. These are Washi Watercolor by We Are. Um, brand. I don't know if you guys are familiar with this. And I got this at Tuesday mornings. We have Tuesday mornings here. And they're, they're all around the nation, aren't they? And uh, I love these because I love the gray. I mean, just neutrals really work for me. I like this kind of stuff. So this is just like a, a light gray with no pattern. And then this one right here, you can see, just has a real thin, like just faint striping on it. So I do use various washi tapes like that. So let me, let's go into showing you how we're going to make it. This is like so super simple. All you have to do is take the washi tape. 
pull it off. It's sticky on this side. It's pretty aggressive too. Pull it off. Lay it down on the back side. of your image. So now the front side is going to make the tape. And then all I do is I just sort of just want to cut this out right against the, the tape edge. It makes it pretty easy because you can use the edge of a the tape as a guide. And then I'm going to do the other side here. couldn't get much quicker than this. Then I like to take my bone folder and then just really press it just to get a really good adhesion. So then what's going to happen is that when you take and pull, let me take my journal here. This is my daily journal, so I'm going to show you because I'm always just laying I was working on these pages so I'll just put something in here Let's just put a, a bit of it in here so right here I have my washi tape so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it down a bit then I'm going to put a strip I'll do it down the I'll just do it across the bottom here. So let's just cut it. This way now you can cut it to be exactly what you want it to be. So I'm gonna make a thin piece to fit in my journal here. So figure out where I want this to stop. Okay. So Here's, you know, my leftover. I'm going to just cut that little end off because I want that white. And then you just, here again, I'm just going to burnish it a little bit more with my hands. And then, it's very easy, just pull this backing off. Couldn't be easier, look at that. Just pull this backing off. And now we have our tape that we can take and just lay it down where we want it right here at the edge and then here again I take my bone folder and burnish it I mean it's really just that simple take these things out this is the next pages I was working on so put that out the way and here we are there it is in there and it's it makes a really good adhesion I really like this stuff so it's just that simple let me show you one more time just to doubly convince you. <laughs> so we're going to take a piece of um, this dictionary page and remember the side that you want to show is the side that you, so I want to kind of get this little leaf pattern in there as well. So I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to line it up with the edge here. it. You can burnish it at this point or wait, doesn't matter. Goes out the way. So we can burnish it. And um, we're going to cut it. If I want a torn edge, I'll tear it right up against it so that I have like this sort of a natural torn edge on the end of the washi tape. And that works well, too. Here we are. 
And now you'll see that I have that that uh, piece of from this old dictionary page of those ivy leaves and what have you, and then this. So I'm going to make a lot of this up because when I the next tutorial is going to be on how to make take some playing cards and we're going to make a book using just simply this some washi tape that I'm going to make and we're going to cover these pages so stay tuned for the next tutorial in the meantime thank you so much for tuning in and I look forward to continuing to bring these to you because I'm in the studio I'm always creating some something and I realize I miss a lot of opportunities by not pushing these things up but now I'm working with Ustream and it makes it so much easier to get a video 